Hey, I'm Jacqueline Muir and I'm here to show you a ring sling today. Um, so basically you just start by putting the fabric over your shoulder and a lot of people like the ring on their dominant side, which then gives their right hand, um, if that's your dominant side, the most freedom. And then once you put it on, you're gonna want the fabric to come up through the rings and out and down just like this is. Um, and so to start, you take all this fabric right here and you kind of, it's called blooming it. You just pull it all out and it kind of turns into like a flower looking thing and you just want it bloomed so it's nice and loose. So then basically you kind of want this fabric straight at the bottom. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this outside corner piece and you're going to tighten it right here. So I'm going to pull this nice and tight. And I'm actually gonna move this ring up to about collarbone level, and it's gonna sit right here. And I'm gonna tighten this ring, and it's gonna slowly tighten. I'm just pulling on this outside edge, and what that is actually doing, it is tightening this bottom piece of fabric right here against my body, and this is gonna start to create the pouch to put um, the baby in. So I'm just gonna tighten it a tiny bit more. Now that I have that outside nice and tight, I can kind of feel it against my body. I'm gonna go get the baby. So here's Miles, he's almost a month, he's our little guy, and uh, he likes to be carried a lot. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you wanna put your little guy, or girl, your little baby, up here in burping position, and then you're gonna take their little feet and you wanna slide it in this pouch and kinda get it comfortable. And then once they're in that pouch, you're gonna take all this slack, I have a lot of slack right now, you're gonna take all this slack, and while supporting them, you're gonna kinda pull this slack so you can tighten the other end of the ring. So you just kind of pull it right here and you tighten it up right there until it feels nice and secure and snug and you have it about where you want. Um, this should be a tiny bit higher so I might slide him over just a little bit and try and get this ring just up a little bit higher. There we go. I'm gonna tighten it just a little bit more to make him feel a little more secure. So just pull this slack and tighten that down. There we go, so he is in the carrier. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of this extra fabric, and this is really helpful with newborns. And I'm just gonna roll this, twist it, twist it, twist it. And then I'm going to bring it right here. And I'm gonna fold this fabric nice up and over it. And so it kind of actually creates a little bit of more of a head support comfort for them and it feels a little bit more secure and it also gets that tail out of the way. You're gonna want these rings at about corsage level when you're done. Um, but here you have the ring sling. And there's a bunch of different other carries that you can do. I haven't mastered them all yet but it's always good to start with the newborn and then try a few more as they get older. A few tips about carrying in this newborn position. That bloom that we did in the beginning is really important and it makes it a lot easier to tighten those uh, rails is the ends of the fabric is what they're called. Um, that makes the fabric just slide through a lot easier. So make sure you bloom that fabric and keep it nice and loose. And then always keep your newborn in this vertical position. Um, it's really easy to nurse in this sling as well though. You just loosen it up, you drop them down a little bit and then you can continue to nurse them in that vertical position. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment below or email us at hello at babycubby.com.